One of the most important things for grinding efficiency in Pet Simulator 99 is what your best stat pet is. That is what determines your damage for all of your exclusive pets as well as your huges and even your titanics in the future. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly which stat pet you need to be using in Pet Simulator 99 if you want the most efficiency and for you to make the most amount of diamonds possible. I have personally tested all of this data myself so I can verify this and am giving you the most up-to-date factual information that I can. If you enjoy this type of content, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Let's get right into it though, so that we can make sure you guys are ready and making the most out of your grind sessions. Here is the data that we are gonna go over for this video. I know this can look intimidating to a lot of people, but it's not as complicated as it might look. So basically, here is a list of all the damage that each of these pets do in the exact same condition, hitting the exact same breakables in the final area. The actual damage numbers aren't important in Pet Simulator 99 because there are just so many factors that actually influence damage. So you would have to imitate the exact conditions for each part of your loadout, each potion, fruit, but for the purposes of this data, all of those conditions are the exact same. So all we should be paying attention to are basically the percentages. All right. So in Pet Simulator 99, the way you get diamonds and drops from breakables is they have a sort of algorithm that takes into account how much damage you've done to that breakable. And then it calculates how much drops you're going to get from that breakable considering how much damage you've done. Increasing your damage output is a seriously important thing that you're definitely going to need to do if you're going to want to make the most amount of diamonds. And we also know that exclusives and huges base all of their damage on whatever your best stat pet is. So that's why it's so important that you're using the right stat pet because that percent damage increase from upgrading to your stat pet can make a tremendous difference in how fast you're able to grind and how much you make. So from the baseline, the Rainbow Shiny Frost Yeti does 2.78 million damage. So this column goes off of the damage in this column compared to the damage of the Rainbow Shiny Frost Yeti. So for example, the Rainbow Frost Snowman, if you use this, it'll do 3.55 million damage, which is basically a 27.7% increase in damage over the Rainbow Shiny Frost Yeti. And the Rainbow Frost Snowman only cost you 57,000 diamonds. If currently you're using the Rainbow Shiny Frost Yeti, paying 57,000 diamonds for one of these Rainbow Frost Snowmen is going to give you a 27% overall damage increase to all of your exclusives and all of your huges. Now, if you upgrade to the Rainbow Prototype, which is 1.8 million wrap right now, you're going to get a whopping 232% damage increase. That's absolutely insane. So baseline, if you do not have any huges or any exclusives, you should definitely at least have this Rainbow Frost Snowman because it's only 57,000 diamonds. And when you begin to upgrade to exclusives and huges, it's going to give you a decent damage boost over the Rainbow Shiny Frost Yeti. But if you already have pretty much any exclusive or any huges, you guys definitely should have the rainbow prototype because that damage increase to those exclusives and huges is absolutely insane. And for 1.8 million diamonds, you're not going to find value like that anywhere else. And I'd say if you have even more than three huges, getting the rainbow shiny snowman is also a really good value for you guys. Because you're going to be doing an additional 20% over that 232% damage increase from the Rainbow Prototype. And it's only about 600k more diamonds in wrap. Overall, that's also a really good value. Huges are currently about 16 to 17 million right now. So 2.43 million is pretty much nothing compared to that. So if you have any amount of huges, you're going to want them to be doing the most amount of damage possible. That's pretty much that section of the video about which stat pet you should be using at any stage. There is one more stat pet that is better than this one. It's so rare that it costs like over 100 million right now. So it's pretty much not worth it for anybody that's going to be watching this video unless you have like a whole team of Titanics already. Or if you have a whole team of shiny huges, pretty much still not going to be that worth it to many of you. So I don't think it's really important to even talk about. I couldn't even find any in the training plaza because I really did want to test it out. But it's that rare that I couldn't even find one to test for the video. The next topic that we got to talk about. In the last update, the second highest stat pet was actually doing less damage than the 85 and the 90% exclusives. But it is really important to note that this has changed in the latest update. 
Because the power level is so similar from the rainbow prototype to the rainbow shiny snowman, the 85% and 90% exclusive actually do slightly less damage than the rainbow prototype would, but they still do a considerable amount more than the rainbow frost snowman. Almost double actually, but the 95% exclusive still does more than the rainbow prototype. But this is all only if you actually have the rainbow shiny snowman. So all of the rest of these damage numbers are based off of if you're using the rainbow shiny snowman. But besides that, there is a lot of data here. You're probably going to want to look through and pause and look at some of this data to see what the damage differences are between these pets. There's just too much comparisons to really go over in one video. I think something important to note is that basically all of the 95 percentage pets are pretty much not worth it for the value the prices of the 95 percent exclusives for each genre so the shiny rainbow golden even the regular exclusives are just not worth as you guys can see here like the 85 percent golden exclusive actually does 13 percent more than the 95 percent exclusive and you could pretty much find these for the same price as the 95 percent exclusive so pretty much just the 95 percent exclusive of every category is just not a good value and, and on the other hand, the 85% exclusive of each genre is pretty much the best deal that you can get in exclusives. So whichever one you need to pick for your team is going to depend on what you're upgrading from. I usually like to skip one category of thing when I'm upgrading something. So if I'm upgrading my regular exclusives, I'll go straight to the 90% and skip the golden ones. And if I'm upgrading from golden exclusives, I will skip the shinies and go straight to the rainbow exclusives. But besides all the exclusives talk, the last important thing about this data that I want you guys to look at are these damage differences between all of the huges. So this is probably what I spent the most of my diamonds on was finding all of these huges at the same levels. So as you guys can see, a huge happy rock will do 7.46 million damage. A golden happy rock is going to be doing... 9.6 million damage so that's basically a 28.7 percent increase a lot of these numbers can be skewed because we don't know the exact damage numbers we only know this rounded up number that the game tells us so we could pretty much assume this is a 30 percent damage increase from golden to huge which is news to me because I always thought that golden huges were 20% better, not 30% better. But this means that we should be pricing golden huges at 30% premium compared to regular huges. So if you see the golden happy computer going for less than 30% more of the regular happy computer, that's going to indicate that it's a better value to buy that over the regular one because the damage increase that you get is more than the price increase that it costs to get it. Now, on the other hand, the rainbow huges at the exact same level does 85% more damage than the regular huge. And the shiny huge at the same level does 95% more damage than the regular huge. So it is confirmed that shiny huges still do more than rainbow huges. So if you see these two things at around the same price, you should definitely go with the shiny huge over the rainbow huge because you get that 10% difference. Because we know of these numbers, a level 62 regular huge does the exact same damage as a rainbow 90% exclusive. Which basically means that your rainbow 90% exclusives are going to do more damage than a regular huge up to that level. And then the rainbow 95% exclusive does even more damage than a regular level 62 huge. And then basically I did testing for level 99 regular huges and level 99 golden huges something weird to note is that the higher the level that 30 percent damage increase that you get from it being golden actually starts to fall off for some reason i don't know why that is as you guys can see the golden huge happy actually only does 15 percent more damage than the regular happy rock at the same exact level so i don't know what that's about probably has something to do with the way big games does their damage calculations and the last little point to note from these tests is that you can actually stack the strength charm up to four times and it has no fall off damage but overall, that's pretty much it for what I wanted to go over for the damage numbers. I know I just spit a bunch of damage numbers at you, but it is really important to go over all of these numbers each update because big games definitely tends to change things around. To summarize the points I made, if you have any huges at all, you should definitely be using the M6 prototype, which is selling for 1.8 million rap at the moment. 
because this is going to give you almost double the damage over the rainbow snowman for 1.8 million diamonds that is a lot of value for the price but if you have any diamonds extra i would just straight up upgrade to the rainbow shiny snowman because this is going to give you an additional 10 percent on top of the m6 prototype rainbow and all of those damage numbers really matter, especially when you're grinding all day and all night. A 10% increase to your damage can mean a world of difference, especially when you're using things like the lucky block or the boss chest mimic or the regular chest mimic. Being able to break those things fast enables more of them to spawn. It's just overall a big deal. If you have any questions on these numbers, remember to join the, our Discord. I'm in there most hours of the day, and even if I'm not there, I have a good staff team that are willing to help and explain things to you. Also, the daily giveaways are a bonus. Besides that, thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.